All right, so we're heading out now. First came in. There you go. Welcome to your new home. All right, guys, good morning. So it is our last day at Madre Selva. It has been absolutely amazing here. After this, we're gonna head upriver in the boat and go to Santa Cruz, which is gonna be really, really cool. Has a little bit less people and a lot more animals. So can't wait to see what we find there today. I'm gonna go fishing and see what we can catch as far as bait so that maybe later we could catch a catfish. So we changed plans. We're gonna do the fishing later. We just showed up to this trail that they haven't been to in a while. They said they don't know how it's gonna be to look for Cayman tonight, so we have to check it early while it's light out. See if we can pull the kayaks through. Hopefully it'll be pretty accessible. Seems like it's not too far. We looked at the lake with the drone yesterday. I'll show you a clip of that here. And so we found the lake, we found where it is, and we wanna go check it out, but we got to clear a path for tonight. So that's what we're doing right now, and we should find some pretty cool stuff on the way. It's getting deep. So the main purpose that we came to Madre Selva is to find Cayman. It is the lower area compared to Santa Cruz, which is our next destination, so. Hopefully tonight, which is our last night, we can see some black came in and spectacle came in. And then if we find them, hopefully we can catch them. Boots are officially filled with water, but all the water is about that high. So instead of stepping really careful, I just trudge through like that because they're gonna get wet. There's no way to stay dry in the rainforest. <laughs> Brian almost fell. The rest of the crew's back there. Just got stung by three wasps. There's one of the wasp things. Welcome to the jungle. All right, so we just got the boots fully flooded. Had to go across this stream, river, whatever you want to call it. This place, everything's trying to hurt you. Everywhere you look, there's a tree with thorns. There's a bullet ant that could sting you there's a snake that could kill you super cool <laughs> super crazy but uh you know we paid for this experience <laughs> all right guys we just made it to the lake hiked through all of that for about an hour this lake is apparently filled with spectacle caiman black caiman and big arapaima so we're gonna come back here tonight and see what we can get So we just got back out to the Cayman spot. We are gonna be here for the next few hours, see what we can catch, bring back more kayaks. We left the one there from earlier. So we'll have three, both me, Blake, and Brian will be out looking for Cayman. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting. We have that long hike right now though, so let's go. They just found the racer species on the trail here. Check that guy out. Literally looks like the black racers that we have at home. Just a little more colorful. There's a yellow belly, yellowish green. Super cool, we'll let him go on his way and keep going to the Cayman grounds. Ooh. We'll let him go on his way. Check out how quick he'll go off. Disappeared. Go All right guys, we're here at the lake. Kayaks are here. Just did the hike for the third time today. We're gonna have to do it on the way back out as well. It's the first time we've seen the sunset here because the trees have been blocking our view every time. Golden yellow, beautiful. So in order to look for the Cayman, what we're gonna do is wait until the sun goes down. We'll get on the kayaks, go out here on this lake behind me with all this water lettuce. And what Flavio said is that the babies will sit here on the tops of the water lettuce because they don't want to be eaten by the big arapaima that lie underneath in this water. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down, hopefully get on some caiman. So we're out here just waiting for the sun to go down. Blake, you ready? I'm ready. Blake brought me out on this trip. He told me to come out here when I guess we first met up in Myrtle Beach Safari. He told me about the Amazon trip and I was like, yeah, that sounds sick. And then he was like, you want to go? And I was like, 
yeah, let's do it. Didn't really think it was gonna happen. It was so far away. And then now, a few months later, we're here. So go check out Blake's page. If you're not already subscribed to him, I'll have him linked first below. And uh, check out all his stuff because he's got some crazy animals. But yeah, we're just waiting out here. Hopefully, gonna get on these caiman. Been wanting to see him for the past four days while we've been here. And today's our last day. So if we don't catch one now, we're probably not gonna see one for the rest of the trip because the next spot we go to is higher upland. So there'll be more snakes and more herps, but less came in. All right, so we're heading out now. Got the GoPro. That's where I'm gonna be filming mainly. And then my phone when I can. No eyes yet. First came in right here. He just took off. There should be more. First came in. Spec came in. There we go. Got him right here. Right in this patch. Here. Had to reach through and get him. Wearing the chest mount. I was hitting the kayak every time. You have to kind of lean over and it was catching. So I had to take off the chest mount. But woohoo. Got myself a spec came in out here in the Amazon. I'm going to tape him up just so he doesn't hurt himself. Got them all wrapped up now. As you can see, I just didn't want them to, you know, get hurt. There you go. Little speck came in just to bring back and show the others. Just so he feels safe, cover his eyes, get him wrapped up in there. He's good to go. We just got this Amazon tree boa here while we're on our trek back. All right, so we are back here with the caiman and Check these guys out. This is the little one that I caught. It's okay. You're all good. This is the spectacled caiman, also known as the white caiman. And these guys are pretty common here and we can even find them in South Florida. They're an invasive species there. But just like the Amazon, South Florida is hot, humid, and basically the perfect setup for them. So that's why they've taken over. You can find populations of them all throughout our Everglades. This little dinosaur right here is just a baby. Females will get around six feet. Males typically around seven feet. I think the largest recorded is around nine feet. Not too big. They are in the alligator family, but they stay a little bit smaller and usually are a little bit more quick and aggressive. This is a really healthy looking one. You can see he has a lot more of that gold color whereas an alligator would have more blacks and a little bit of yellow in him. But he is perfectly designed to be camouflaged out here in this darker colored water. I'm really glad we got a chance to catch one out here in the Amazon. It sucks I was not able to get it on video but with the GoPro on my chest I was trying to lay down on the kayak and it was pressing up and it just wasn't going to get on video anyway, so I just took it off and said, i got to catch one caiman while I'm out here in the Amazon. How you doing, little buddy? They got a bunch of razor-sharp little teeth, if you could see there. And again, this guy isn't even a big one, but he can whack down fish, birds, frogs, insects, anything he can fit in his mouth, even a turtle. One this size probably couldn't take down a turtle, but once they get a little bigger, they have all the jaw pressure they need to crunch down a turtle shell and gulp it down. The other guys did catch a few more, which I have right here, a little bit smaller ones. They caught this one just on the side of the lake while we were kayaking. I would say that this one here is about a year old. And then the one on the bottom is maybe about two years old. So that's about as fast as they would grow. You can see this young one has some algae on his back, which means he's not coming out of the water too much. He was hanging out on that water lettuce. You know, that's where it's the best spot for him because he can hide right in there, right on the surface, eat frogs, eat fish and insects and still be protected because there's big arapaima below that would love to swallow one of these little guys. And then, while we were on our way back, one of the other guys also caught this little hatchling. Look at him. 
he was just on the trail where we were walking through that mud. He was just there cruising. As you know, they have eye shine. They have that membrane so that it helps them to see at night because they're nocturnal feeders. Basically, saw his eye, grabbed him and brought him back with us. But right now, we are actually at a different location from where we found these little guys. These were from Madre Selva, our first location, and now we're in Santa Cruz. So we're gonna let them go here because they'll have less predators with the lake that they were at in Madre Selva had a big caiman that last year they found a bunch of babies there. And then this year there should have been more yearlings and uh, two year olds, but we only found two there, which is really sad. So we have these guys here now in the new location and these little dinosaurs will have a amazing hey even at a young age you can see already trying to be defensive i know i'm scary i'm big i'm talking but you're okay so anyway we're gonna let these guys go tonight which will be the safest for them and they'll be over here in their new home super cool showing them to the little girls so we're releasing the caiman right now in their new area blake's gonna take this guy here's the one from the lake. All right, buddy. Comment down below a name for this guy. There you go. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> he just went straight to the bottom as if we couldn't see him. See you, buddy. Little baby. He's gonna take him back there where it's a little more protected. And then there goes little baby. So comment down below a name for the little guy, the medium sized one, and the big one. <laughs> 